keep. What's good, world? It's your boy, Go Easy on the Kicks, and we got another edition of What's in the Box. So, uh, before we get started today, I want to definitely just talk about a couple things. Um, my life has been crazy with especially stuff that's been going on in the world, and I've been having some personal things going on as well. But I advise people to definitely take time off mentally, take time off to enjoy your hobbies, and just kind of give yourself that cold turkey time away from stuff, just kind of so you get back to the realm that you need to be in. As well as also, if you're a creator, <clears throat> this is the best time to create. Create right now. Get a lot of that frustration, a lot of that energy out, create. And um, I'm not gonna really speak on too much what's going on, because everybody see what's going on. But I will definitely say that I mean, if you definitely don't agree what's going on and how people are treated, you don't even need to follow me and watch this page, so that's fine. But let's go ahead and get into this, this week's What's in a Box. So before we get started, I would definitely say I was looking forward to actually getting a couple things and unfortunately they didn't hit um, for some odd reason. I didn't get the Flint 13. Um, I actually overslept and forgot about the Cactus Jack uh, 270s and I did get a dunk. I did get a pair of dunk. So we're going to see which pair that I actually did hit on. And here we go. Of course, the traditional Nike box. I got to say, man, Nike, you really got to take this stupid tape off the box. Like, you just advertising something to get stolen. But let's go ahead and look for my knife and go ahead and get into the unboxing. And <clears throat> of course, your traditional dunk box. Um, actually, this is not a traditional dunk box. This is a traditional old school Nike box, orange box. So we're definitely going to see what's inside um as you can see it is a pair of dunks but it's not the benedictines and at this point i ain't get those i really try to get those but i mean maybe next time you can't win them all man but the small w's you do win you enjoy those w's so i'm gonna enjoy this one uh the shoe that i wasn't really trying to get but i did want to see if i can hit on it and landed and just kind of just do a review. I want to get my first impression to see if I want to keep it or not. So, without further ado, let's open up. And, you know, I always be hoping I'll be one of these people that Nike actually send the wrong thing to and it'd be like some type of grill or something. But, uh, it's not this time. So, we have the Brazil I want to, I think it's called change the game, change the tone, dunk, probably outside the normal go easy round, but we'll see what we can get with them. Uh, they do come in traditional Brazil colors. Green, uh, as the Brazilian flag, it is green, yellow, and white. Only one set of laces, white laces. And on the hill, in yellow, you have the side panel which is going to be yellow and the Nike check is green the midsole is white and the sole itself is green um, the toe box green laces are white Nike tag on the tongue which is white and green and my size I mean I got a couple dunks I will say dunks I always go through the size and I'd be the first one to tell you, man, making a comeback. Because back in the day, I wasn't really rocking dumps as much. I was actually rocking forces. Forces was my shoe. Uh, it was my go-to shoe. Um, and they used to sell out like crazy. And the closest thing I ever got to a skateboard was Tony Hawk Pro Skating on PlayStation and a Rocket Power on Nickelodeon. So that go ahead and tell you. I had a skateboard. Couldn't pull off an ollie. Couldn't pull off a twist or any of those type of moves. And... I couldn't do a kick flip, and that was the end of my skateboard career. I probably fell down way more times than I actually stood up on that board, 
And then that's when I went to the new wave, which was scooters. If y'all around my age, you know when scooters, Razor scooters were really, really hot. But I tried to skateboard away. I will say I lost a lot of weight because all I was doing was kicking. And shout out to Lupe Fiasco too, because that was my jam, kick push. Um, one of my favorite artists back, one of my favorite artists back in the day. So put some respect on that man name. But yeah, man. These are the Brazil, they're part of the pack. I wanna name, say the name of the pack is uh, Choose Your Team. Give me one second, let me make sure I clarify. Special Team Tone Pack. So yeah, so these are part of the Special Team Tone Pack. Of course you have the, the Brazilian colorway, you have the red and white colorway that's actually coming out next week, and I think the orange and maybe blue colorway after that. So I did hit on these. To be honest with you, my favorite out of the pack is the red and white. Let me see if I can get those, man. I've been taking nothing but L on sneakers lately, which is strange. Um, like, them, they weren't playing about them flints, man. I just knew I was gonna get them flints. And I was actually gonna try to kind of go out a little bit and venture, but I ain't really gonna risk it. I ain't feel like standing in line. And I ain't wanna go out there and just get uh, L or just get told, no, we're sold out. So I'm, I'm gonna blame the Jordan sales on the last dance. That's probably why we're starting to see Jordan sales skyrocket out. But yeah, man, Nike dunks, man. People say they're getting tired of dunks. Me personally, no, I like shoes. If you make enough shoes, I'll buy them. If, you like, if it's a shoe I like, I'll buy it. If it's a shoe that I don't like, I'm not gonna purchase. So I can't even get enough, you know, I feel like these are not my favorite in my collection. And who knows how long this is actually Day in my collection per se. Um, green is my second favorite color, but uh, you know, you never know. Maybe we'll pull something off with these as well. Like I said, I do like the red and white pair better, but this it's cool. Um, not my favorite pair of dunks in my collection, and I'll probably do a video another time just kind of going over what's my favorite pair of dunks in my actual collection. I do say dunks are, especially as these are very comfortable to wear for a long period of time. Um, I see why skateboarders wear them because they do give you that extra cushion. Um, it's, I mean, to me, dunks is, it go hand in hand. If I break these from one to 10, what would you give these? I give these a solid six and a half, maybe. Like, I mean, not, it's a dunk. It's not a bad shoe. Hallway different. Like I said, if you definitely from Brazil, I can definitely see you rocking these. These have that Brazilian pr uh, pride. Or if you just like high colors, this shoe is important. There was another edition of What's In A Box. Please make sure you comment below. Tell me what you think about the video. We're actually shooting in 4K now. Upgraded the camera, and we're trying to upgrade on the sound. That's coming next. I'm just waiting for that to come in the mail. So, we're about to start cranking out more video, better quality. Again, like I mentioned before, if you're a creator, this is your time to create. That's what I'm gonna do. No matter if 10 people watching, 10 people listening, or 100 people, create, use this time wisely. Again, this is your boy. Go easy on the kicks. And as always, stay safe, be blessed, and until next time, have a good one.